Hey, how we doing everybody? Blake from New Vision Security Services and today we're going to review this unboxing actually of the Optex HX Series HX40 uh, DAM. It's the PIR sensor and microwave uh, detection. It, all in one unit. Uh, outdoor unit uh, design is for it's a high mount so it's designed to be up high about 10 feet and to look down over a uh, 180 degree area. Uh, zero as always middle detector 90 degrees to the left 90 degrees to the right. So let's open it up. See what we got All right, first thing we have is the templates for the base mounting and the uh, bracket Depending on which uh, Install you're doing Whether you're mounting it straight to the wall or if you're using a like a Recess box, standard uh, junction box to a uh, security unit. All right, uh, box tells us it comes with the main unit, the uh, weather hood, the bracket, the anti masking seals, screws, and uh, the instructions. So open it up. We've got the masking sheet, which gives you. Uh, you can mask zones that it will cover that you don't want it to see uh, so that you can basically blind it out depending on where you're mounting it. It also comes with uh, masking for uh, detection range. It's in meters, so 9 meters, 4 meters, 2 meters, depending on uh, which step you install into the uh, lens will cut the detection range down. Uh, I know for a fact that with this unit, it detects 40 feet out, all right, and a zero to 90 to the left, zero to 90 to the right. So if 40 feet is too far, then you would install the masking uh, inside the lens, and then it will cut that detection range back closer in if you don't want to detect that far out. All right, so that is the instruction manual on how to open a unit, how to modify, do the wiring, the walk test, all of that stuff. Now we get to the box. Here's the wall bracket. As you can see, it tilts up and down and then it goes left to right. So if you mount it this way, loosen the screw and it will tilt you know, in and out and then up and down, depending on the angle. Because I know with this unit, you have to mount the unit so that it's parallel with, with the ground. So let's say if your ground is sloped, you know, it's coming at a slope outward like this, then when you mount the unit, you'll want to tilt the unit down uh, slightly so that it follows the slope, the contour of the road so that it, the coverage is even all the way out. All right? Then we got the weather hood uh, in the unit here. That's that guy. The screws to mount the unit and then the two small screws for securing the hood to the main unit. And then we've got the main unit. First thing we'll do is, let's see, this is the bottom, right? And this is gonna be the top. So let's temporarily stick the hood on there so that we can get a measurement about how far it's gonna stick out from the wall. So from the back of the unit itself to the front of the hood is about seven and a half inches. Right, so seven and a half, and then you add another uh, about a half inch, so eight inches total. It's gonna it's gonna stick out from the wall. Right, as you can see, this unit is uh, angled. Right, and where the hood goes is the top, obviously. Then there's a slot. Then that's the screw to open a unit and do your wiring. They also have this in a wireless unit. So it's like a wireless module that mounts in here, batteries go in it, and uh, you have to purchase a separate receiver to tie in to your uh, system if you want to use this as set up as a wireless unit. It doesn't come uh, with, with all the wireless uh, circuitry inside, it's purchased separately. All right, so the reason why I got this unit is I want to use this unit to cover the driveway uh, from above, you know, center mounted. Uh, so 
I'll have 180, 180 degree detection uh, on the driveway. The reason why I test these units and I, and I like the optics units, they're very reliable. Uh, there's no issues when it comes to warranty. Hey, if you purchased it from a authorized dealer, supplier, Optex has no issues um, with, you know, find out why the unit failed. Um, but the key is you have to purchase it from an authorized supplier slash dealer. If you do not and you have an issue and you try to get Optex to resolve the issue for it, um, they're probably not because you didn't, auth you didn't purchase it from an authorized uh, dealer or uh, reseller. Okay. So that's what I always do. I always go to my Optex dealer. You know, and talk to them, see what they have. Hey, this is what I'm trying to do. Let me try this unit. If it works, great. You know, if if it doesn't fit what I'm trying to do, then I can get on the phone with Optex and say, hey, listen, this is what I'm trying to do. This is why I got the unit. You know, am I doing something wrong? Or maybe this may not be the particular unit for what I'm trying to do. So that's why I got this. Because at the end of the day, most you text, and I use all this stuff with like, our alarm system and also our surveillance system. The reason why is you have to understand with security, right? Prevention is the key, but an alarm system is designed to alarm after the fact, after a perimeter sensor uh, has been tripped, whether it's your windows, doors, motion detectors, that's after the fact. I believe in uh, perimeter protection pre-warning. So what does that mean? If I have this unit mounted up, right, let's say in my backyard, someone hops my fence, I'm going to know about it before they even get to my back door. Um, typically, if someone's looking to steal from you or do some harm, they have to come on to your property first. So early warning detection would be, you know, some sort of perimeter sensors, uh, motion detectors. I have the fit link. Um, that unit is great. I keep telling them I I've got to get more of those because they work. You know, as soon as you step foot back there, you know, we get a notification. Hey, there's an issue in the backyard. And that's how it's supposed to work. And it's been reliable. You know, rain, freezing temperatures, haven't had any problems with the unit whatsoever. And I'm going to use, I'm going to continue to use it and, and purchase more of them to continue to use them. And that's what you want. So that's what I believe in. That's how I do things. I, I try to push um to potential customers or people who ask me questions, you know, about security. Say, hey, listen, I believe in pre-warning. The more pre-warning you have, the better prepared you can be. Um, you know, and the pre-warning is being proactive instead of you have a system, a uh, part of it fails, you didn't receive the right warning that you wanted to, now it's after the fact, you know, it's reactive. But uh, being a little proactive in the security uh, industry and, and the department will help you uh, to further protect yourself, um, especially at minimal cost. You know, a lot of these items you can give in wireless. You know, uh, if you purchase from an authorized dealer uh, and you have an issue with the setup, there's a tech support there to help you walk you through setting up this particular item with their system. Uh, and it just works. So that's why I got this unit. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to install it. Over the driveway, uh, about 10 feet high is the recommended height, you know, parallel to the ground. And since I don't want to go 40 feet out because that'll put me into the street. Right. So I've got to use the masking uh, sheet to mask off some of the area inside the lens. And this does have anti-masking. So what does that mean? Even if you have a unit that's mounted lower, you know, around the area that uh, someone can reach, you want to get a unit that has anti-masking. So that way, if they come up with duct tape, a rag, whatever they're going to try to use to mask the unit from picking something up, as soon as they try to do that to mask the unit, it's going to trigger uh, the system. However, you have your system set up um, that, hey, this unit, uh, has they tried to cover the unit. It goes into alarm. It lets you know. So you are you know, proactive in, in, in your security instead of, you know, a little bit of reactive. Because if you don't get the anti-masking, someone is able to cover the unit, you know, then it's, it's not going to alert. And then they can walk back and forth from it all day. And they may try. They may 
come out there to your residence or whatever and cover it and wait to see if you ever respond to it. And if you don't, then they know, hey. So video went along, we're at 10 minutes, but I'm gonna give this unit a try and see how it works out. And then as always, I'll report back to you and let you know what I liked about it, what I didn't like, you know, the pros and the cons. And hopefully, uh, you know, this helps you out in designing your own uh, security system or surveillance system using external sensors and not relying on uh, internal sensors, all right? As always, if you have any questions, please post them and I ask them, I'll answer them as quick as I can. And I hope that this video you know, helps a lot of folks out uh, that are thinking about units like this, all right? Take care, stay safe.